Hello all, it's James Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade, and I'm back here with War on the Sea and our continuing Imperial Japanese Navy uh, Let's Play, where we're featuring the Tokyo Express mod. Um, our last episode slash episodes, um, if, if you might be confused and you're going along in the playlist one after another, and if I have this playlist set up correctly so that each episode is preceding the other, um, you will have noticed that there were two of the exact episode, <coughs> excuse me, back to back. <coughs> the reason for this was... Well, for whatever reason, YouTube did not want to upload the original video into a high-definition format in a timely manner. So I went through several hoops trying to fix that so that uh, viewers could be able to watch it in a high definition. Needless to say, uh, one of the steps I took was just to re-upload the video a second time. Um, so that's why there's two of the exact videos back to back. Um, why haven't I taken one of them down? Because, well, in the world of YouTube, um, comments uh, on videos equal the algorithm showing the video to new eyes more. Um, <clears throat> so the, the video that was having issues becoming HD, uh, received quite a few comments. So I most certainly didn't want to take that one down. And then the other video actually, um, got a fair number of views, so I didn't want to take that one down. So I just, I've, I've left them both up there. Um, and that's just, that's why that is. Um, so yeah. Well, moving past that topic, let's let's get into the game at hand, shall we? <clears throat> Actually, before I get into the game at hand, I do kind of want to do something real fast here, and that is, I want to recognize. just a couple of individuals uh, Acadia Stefson I'm giving this shout out just to say thank you for the support of the channel and watching the videos uh, the majestic one uh, that I, I want to give you a shout out and thank you for supporting the channel as well and whoops I'm actually uh, pulling up some other videos real quick to notice people who have been commenting Ethan McDowell want to give you a shout out as well um, you three I've noticed have been fairly active in commenting on my videos and I do appreciate it uh, like I say, comments, they equal uh, videos getting traction. And as a small YouTuber like me, any comments I can get from anyone is just, well, it's a huge deal. And I appreciate it. So now we will jump in with, with that crazy sappiness out of the way. All right, let's, let's get the game going. The, we've unpaused. The game is going forward. And... What the heck is going on? Uh, good question. What is going on? <clears throat> well, we've got sub pack four coming down here because well, I don't think that cruiser that cruiser group kind of came straight up the slot. I don't necessarily think it came from below, uh, as we saw it around Guadalcanal. Um, the fact that they did come up so far up the slot is well troubling. It's showing that the Americans are getting a little more ballsy with their deployments. Um, that was a weaker group that was easy enough to dispatch. But say a, a full 10-ship uh, battleship fleet 
<coughs> decided to lock up the slot. Would we have the the same uh, results with our airwaves against a fleet march harder to sink? I'm not sure. But these are just speculations, and I have to continue to go with the game plan that I've put in place. It's working so far, so we're going to stick with it. That being said, we probably have some banged up air wings on our aircraft carriers. And we have a fair amount of command points right now sitting in the bank. I know I was thinking about heading down here. I want to keep working on the slot. I want to I'm I'm not going to change focus right now. Right now we have we have kind of like a playbook that we've put in line that's that's sort of working. And so don't fix something that's not broken. <clears throat> so Rabul, what I'm going to do is uh, invest in, well, something that's been working. So first we're going to need Japanese ships. And the Taiyo, that's been working for us quite well. I've been I've been happy with its performance. That being said, we need a particular combination of escorts because it's radarless. So we need the Akazuki, which gives air search radar. And we need the Yugumo, which gives surface search radar. <clears throat> and then I want this guy because this is the one that has the A, A in the manner I like. So then two of these. One, two. That's cost of 66. We have 69 command points, so we can just afford it. We're going to go ahead and hit done so that I don't mess up and not hit done. And we're going to call this CTF Choyo. And probably circular is what we want. We want number one in the center, of course. Um, we want five and four to actually be the radar DDs. So we will swap positions on those. Okay. We'll swap positions on these. So this puts the AA DDs there. As you can see, I, I recognize them because they have the 520 uh, HE shells, which is quite a bit less than that guy there. Um, that's the surface search radar one, which is pretty interesting in that the this particular DD has a lot of ammo on board, which is one of the drawbacks of these, they don't have that much ammo, but their their primary task is just to provide AA cover. Um, they shouldn't really be expending huge amounts of ammo. All right, before we send you off, we should load your escorts with troops. Less trips we have to make to Rabal the better. All right. Rabul doesn't need any troops to defend it. Certainly it doesn't. All right, there's nothing currently at Rabul. Where is my supply group? Uh, it's heading back. That is something to keep in mind.
uh, after supply group makes it back in theater. We started this campaign on the 7th. So the 7th, the 14th, the 21st is the next day we're going to get deliveries. This is going to arrive. Okay, so we, we might just end up sending the supply group back because of the timing. Why another carrier group? Why in God's name did you get another carrier group? Well, I want a certain amount of assets in theater at all times. Right now, Anyo is heading back into theater, and now uh, Chuyo is heading into theater. At the same time, we're going to be needing to pull Tayo and Hayo back out of theater. So we're going to uh, just keep shuffling the carriers back and forth, maintaining uh, fresh assets in theater at all times. ASW Squadron Encounter. Right. This has me a little worried. What are we about to see? I mean, best case, we have a sub encounter, which is what this group is for. That torps there. Oh. All right, turn on active sonar. That's why we're using these Wakataki classes, is because uh, they have a large amount of depth charges and they actually have sonar, so they're a cheap ASW destroyer. Ah, there's the torps. So it is indeed break, turn hard, speed up. Uh, speed up, stay straight. Okay, I'm waiting for the gyro angle on the torps. It hasn't turned yet. This has me worried. Steady up. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. All back. I might have really botched this. I botched this so much. Um, Hit by two. Nothing I can seem to do about it. Yep. All right. Well, uh, you could go under. Unlikely, though. Oh, a dud. 
A dud! We were hit by a dud! Thank you, Americans, thank you. Alright, um... Swerby? Rudder amidships? Slow down dramatically. Yeah, you have contact already. Uh, Sane, how are you doing? Come a little this way. You should not be in any risk. Shouldn't be. Straighten out. Stop turning. Get back towards the gate, oh, please. Go ahead and turn back in. All right, Sonny, straighten out. You need to get in to prosecute quickly. So we're going to leave you at 36 knots. Swarby, you need you should really be targeting the Gato. Oh, you didn't give the orders, Captain. Oh, uh, well, that's true. I didn't. Okay, Swarby. Why did you come up that fast? Slow up, just maintain that, please. Why does it look like you're continuing to turn? Because that's what it looks like. aren't targeting are you no no sir we're not you didn't tell us to yeah good point hey now did I tell you to turn that way evidently I must have Let's, uh, slow down About to cross the T. Um, depth charges. Since this happens so infrequently, we're just gonna go with a big, big group. We have a 99% solution, which is not bad. Uh, and just keep your rudders amidship.
fire. Alright, now it's going to be Swarby's turn. Set. Why did you come up to 18 knots? Ships are doing their own thing, damn it. Curious. She's trying to dive. Um, I can't tell if she's bruised up or not, but she's 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 going down, not up, which is fine with me. Get ready. Fire. dead in the water. Gonna go with two this time. She's obviously wounded. Gonna turn it 
turn a little left so we can come back right. Right about. Oh shit, 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 I'm daydreaming here, holy crap. <clears throat> uh, back off. Alright, <clears throat> uh, um, target. Gato and attack depth charge. No, not depth charge. Uh, gunnery. What are you doing? She's parked on the surface. Stop that. No, do not do that. What is this idiot doing? Uh, okay, at least we didn't damage ourselves. <laughs> Swerby, are you? Oh my god, really? <clears throat> Fires. We don't want to go too fast, and we don't really want. Man, no, not depth charges. Why are you doing that? Is Sonny still trying to drop char top charges? Stop that. Fire with your... With your gun. Unbelievable! What was that? Well, that was me asleep at the helm, for one. Um... Stop moving. Just stop. All stop. What is...
stop dropping depth charges. Mother of God, stop! Um, right. Well, this was pretty much as bad as it could have gone. No reason to counter flood, it's all even. Alright, so we sunk a gato, but at what cost? I mean, this is just a Wakataki to share. It's not... It's not even... It's five command points compared to the gato, which is like 12. So, I mean, the, the, the end outcome is good for us, but still. <laughs> she needs to return home. Which means they're both going home. Which means my forward ASW uh, group is not going to be there. Alright. Uh, retreat. Leave. Confirm. Off you guys go. Um, should I rotate one of the rear ASW squadrons forward? I think ASW Squadron 3, who's just sitting there doing nothing actually, is probably the group that's going to head forward and retake up the mantle of patrolling this important box
right, that was a little ASW that we haven't seen this entire episode. This That was the first ASW encounter. Um, obviously, I'm a little rusty. Didn't go so well, but uh, it went well enough, I suppose. We got the required outcome, and that is a sunk submarine. All right, how bad off are our carriers? Let's evaluate. I think we should have everyone on deck. So we have six zeros and a Kate. That's, that's fairly bad. <clears throat> and we have, can't see quite. Well, we can see by mousing over. Uh, 15 valves. Four Kates, 12 zeros. Hiyo, you'll stay on station for a bit. Um, you're going to start heading out. Oh, we can't launch her with you. Shortland, you got any? No. Nope. Okay. Gonna go half the wing. Can't launch. What did I launch the bombs? Must have. Other half the wing. So I guess we got a little fortunate with that uh, DD encounter. One, we had a torpedo that went dud, which was fortunate. And then we didn't lose the destroyer, which honestly was pretty close to happening. Um, the sub managed to do a fair number to that Wakadaki. Because <clears throat> I was asleep at the helm. Can't let that happen again. Okay. 
spotting aircraft heading from this direction. All right, just for for giggles, I'm feeling the urge to launch vowels. I'm going to launch vowels with HE bombs. And we're going to go down in the direction that spotter plane came from. Looks like a fairly fair line right there. Just hi, I'm ready to launch craft. That's fine, they can sit there. Endurance do these valves have? I'll let them sit on station for a bit. Course? No, not course. Alright, where is that plane? Right, we're losing endurance waiting for it, so we just need to pick to either go up or down. I think we'll go down ever so gradually. We're going to run out of endurance right there. So we find something or we don't find something.
right, Shortland. Send the valves out to zeros there. I think this will be our last good look at things before evening sets in. This is busy shipping lane here. Very busy, busy, busy. If I was American subs, I know that's where I would want to be. Stop. Hammer time. Ba -da -da -da. Found it. It was behind us. They missed. Dangerous job those American recon pilots had flying around that zero patrolled airspace. subs have still not found anything that's just kind of crazy
It's a rank three airfield now, is it? Interesting. Evening time heading in. All right, I'll take that. Okay, surface search radar is Probably Kaya. No. And I should be saying air search radar. That's sonar. Sonar. What the bloody hell's the, the what? You're a walkie-talkie. Oh, this is the Hyro who should have her own radar. Correct. Alright, well that's better. Zeros you are engaging, I assume? Yes. This this is our our original carrier, the the main fleet carrier, if you will. That actually has its own radar capacity. Speed things up. We shouldn't run aground. We seem to be okay. All right, let's watch things from your eventual demise point of view in the darkness. Because we have a lot of assets out and around, we're going to pull back a little bit to a new anchorage point. 
not sit where we were last seen. Although the Yunyo is coming into station, probably have you, I don't know, head right about there. You've got four flying cap. Oh, yeah, cap for the new carrier coming down. We can't launch at night. Right. We've got the supplies to push an offensive from Shortland. We don't really have the troops. I was thinking about launching forward. I think we're just going to turn around and send supply group one back to home port. To prepare for the next week and look surface action group one is back and ready to rearm let's go ahead and send her back to her anchorage How did I get her in there? I don't know. All right, she can park there. That'll, that'll be fine.
I should probably fast forward things. It is evening. thought our subs would be doing more work right now than they are. Has me slightly concerned. Americans may have shifted focus somewhere else. All right, well, it's five o'clock. We're going to do a an exhaustive search
actually going to send out. Recon as well. Nearby recon. It's going to look over our typical stomping grounds. Make sure they are clear before moving in. back into Anchorage, guys. <clears throat> Hold the phone. Okay. You need cap. Fifty four. Done. You need cap at twenty seven. Done. You need to wait for your cap to move a bit. need to re make your course head in with the rest of the gang what's back at base 
the SW Squadron 2. Swerby is the one that's damaged. All right. Um, release, repair, confirm. I got no command points for that. Of course I didn't. Okay, Wakataki. I believe you're the one. Yes, you have passive sonar and you have 48 death charges compared to the rest that have less. Merge groups. Alright, ASW Squadron 2 is back up in action. That will be your box, the primary shipping lane. Tayo is almost back. Right now we're waiting on enemy air. Yeah, that's what we're waiting on right there. A scout plane to appear. Um, now that said scout plane has appeared, Anyo. Can launch aircraft in the form of zeros. Your job is to find where the damn thing's coming from so we can kill something. Alright, you're going to launch your zeros in a more defensive manner. You're to attack near in current contacts.
my process here is I want my planes either a little higher than the scouts or a little lower than the scouts. I want them to fan out in different directions. search radar could come in handy. Uh, this is Hayo, so that would be you. Or not surface search, but air search radar. Well, there she is. <clears throat> Nowhere near where she was supposed to be. the fleet down to, uh, I don't know, a crawl. Speed things up. Zeros have a little bit of ground to cover. Our zeros seem to be drunk, they can't fly a straight line. Of course that's because they're constantly altering their path to adjust for the fact that the scout plane is going around in circles, but it still makes them look like they're drunk, zigging and zagging on their way to the destination, instead of maintaining a straight line. <clears throat> At least uh, the first pilot had good aim. I suppose we could can well I'd like to have him back to defend but more eyes out forward to look is always good too ah uh, yes they're reacting to the fact that they spotted us on radar. And we're just going to completely ignore them. Because they have a much larger fighter wing than we have. So it's quite possible these scout planes are coming from submarines. And not a surface task force.
what's going on back here? You're on your way back. Sub pack. All right. One heavy cruiser, four light cruisers, and five destroyers. Sounds like fun. Let's go ahead and begin. Um, fair visibility, no layer, four sea state with rain. Alright, we've started out in wonderful position. Break formation. Start targeting. Okay, I-34, you're going to be targeting. 7. I-15, you are targeting. 34 rudder amidships go ahead and back out you're on a heading of 154 Ships back out. Uh, one six zero. Okay. Ships. Six zero one five nine. Okay, a little over. Not one not back. All right, let's go ahead and 
do the solution. Or, well, do the, uh... Yeah, you know, the thing. So we got one of the odd guns and one of the normal guns in the back with a singular stack. Recognition, American Destroyers. Singular stack, two odd guns. Singular stack, two odd guns. That's a thin stack. Singular stack, two normal guns. Singular stack, two odd guns, Sims class. Alright, and on nine we have two normal class, two normals, so I think that was the Venom. Yep. I-15, that's you, right? So... Oh, what the hell? Venom class... Hey, what happened to you? We will... Seven. All good. Now we're just gonna let the time pass a little bit. Let them work in front of us. Sim shot is I want to shoot now, and we're at looking at 6,500 compared to I-15, which is a fair bit faster. Okay, so I-34, we're gonna f fire now with a 50% solution. All right, that's good enough for three torps at a one degree spread. Fire. Now we're talking one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand. Actually, what would be a better representation is angle on the bow. We're, we're closer than these two are, so I can't come probably right about there. And again, we're going to fire three. So this isn't exact science. This is just uh, gut feeling about trying to time the torpedoes. Uh, no math involved, just est, uh, just guess guesswork, if you will. <clears throat> but having the torpedoes hopefully both arrive at the destination simultaneously and both actually hit their targets is, of course, always the goal. Though chances are here, 50-50, that uh, one or both are going to miss their targets. Though I think the timing was pretty good. Really good for a matter of fact, and they're both looking alright. Let's check out the Benham. I think they might come in behind, but the Sims looks excellent.
Sims took three and should be sinking. In the meantime, I-34, I want you to change your target, reacquire the Benham, or not reacquire, but acquire for the first time the Benham, change to two, I-15, you're gonna change your, well, let's write to two. And now, we're going to do some defensive fire as the Venom comes charging us. Alright, Sims is down for the count. Actually, we're gonna go with onesies for now. Yeah. Time progress a little bit. What is the angle? More than I would like. We're gonna take this shot now. This is actually the closer of the two shots, so we're gonna watch it. Actually looks pretty good. That's my initial gut reaction. All right, we hit the hunter. What is she going to do that now that she's been hit? She's changing her bearing. She's turning towards I-15. I-34, I think it's your turn. You don't have quite as good of a solution. Fire one. Maybe all right.
target seems to be continuing to turn away though but it may be too late well, that's a barbecue I quite believe that'll sink that hunter I think this encounter went, uh, if there was a book, I would say it went by the book. I'm fairly happy with the turnout on this one. one. Well, that's very interesting. It's a heavy cruiser, isn't it? Why are you sailing right at us? Maybe I'm not leaving yet. Um, target heavy cruiser, guys, both of you. We're, we're gonna watch this craziness. Um, actually, you can stop backing down. Go ahead and... and I'm going to want you to turn... No. Wait. No, no, no. This way. Steady out. All right. What are you doing? Are you completely turning around? If you are, you're saving yourself. Just gonna speed up to see is she doing circles or is she gonna steady up and head away? She's continuing to do circles. Oh, wrong button.
I think it's worth a pot sh Well, you know what will improve the pot shot is if I actually identify this uh, cruiser. No, two guns back. It's not a Pensacola. Alright, that's... Looking... More right. It's a Northampton. Alright, Mr. Northampton. You are... Going to... Have one torp and one torp only fired on you at this point. which is not enough to reliably sink a heavy cruiser, I know. However, this is a target that's doing circles. If I can wound it, while well, its escape potential goes down, uh, and if I miss, it's highly likely that it's going to come around for another circle anyway. <coughs> and no reason to waste more than one torp on a miss. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need to be much closer. next circle. One more pot shot. I think this heavy cruiser is worth attempting to sink. going to be another miss, I'm pretty sure. But I think we stay on this course, slow up a little bit. We're going to be so close next time, there's no possible way we're going to miss, even with the, with the cruiser doing circles. <clears throat> Question is, am I gonna have enough torps ready? Yeah.
I don't know. Do I feel like I'm at no way to miss range? I don't feel 100%, though I feel about 80%. This is 80% a kill, not 92%. Here we go. <clears throat> Damn that gyro angle. I don't know. Yeah, it's a miss. God damn it. <clears throat> I wish I could fire manually in. I, I wish I knew how to fire manually on the torps. I, I'm yet to figure out how to do that. This is a situation where being able to fire manually with torps could come in very handy. Alright. Well, we'll get her this time around. That's what I said before. But no, we're going to be so ridiculously close. I think. We should be. We really should. I mean... Stop moving all together. How ridiculously close is it going to be? Just that close. We have three tubes ready? We do. I don't think... If I miss this, I'm just turning around and going home. left. We expended a few more torps than I would have liked. 
but it is a heavy cruiser, so I feel it was worth it. Once again, the uh, the escort ships left the high value unit to deal and fend for itself. Um, the game has a problem with that. Light cruisers and destroyers exist for a reason. To escort the capital vessel. In this fleet, there was one ship classified a capital vessel, and that's the heavy cruiser. Uh, though American light cruisers are, f are certainly on the verge of being heavy cruisers, uh, I, I can see why they... But still, the destroyer is running off and leaving that heavy cruiser to fend for itself. Shameful. Shameful, shameful. Anyway, uh, that we'll do that. It's been a bit, bit since we've had a sub-encounter. And now that we've had one, it was a good one. Eleven wonderful points gained. Uh, we have enough tubes for another encounter. So they'll stay on station. What's that? Way over here, huh? Stop the presses. Go to tactical. Sea state six. Noisy storm. Fifty six percent visibility.
Let the time compression go. We're at the extreme range of these guys. I just want to see if we can maybe jump in and spot something. As we've been following the scope scout planes out into this neck of the woods. Honestly, if I think there was going to be anyone, anything here, it would have been right smack dab. And, well, we got a plane to shoot down. I guess that's something. Yay! Scout plane to kill. If we couldn't follow you back, well, then we're just going to put you down. Guys, what are you doing? Go behind it. We lost a zero to a scout plan. I guess. Darwinism has, uh, has struck. We had an incompetent pilot. We no longer have an incompetent pilot. As they go. Shortland. It's ten o'clock on a no idea what the day is. You guys, you guys need to continue to do the important patrols, making sure nothing is coming up this slot towards our expensive military hardware. Here, what separates the wheat from the chaff. Or something like that. And we're going to even send out Kate's. To recon through here.
Oh, what's going on back here? It's a carrier I should have rearmed. Hello. Anya. What do you have? Kates. Torpedoes. Done. Course. You're going into the slot. Hiya. Bells. Course. Going into the slot. Chuya. Zeros. Course. You're escorting into the slot. Having multiple carriers like this gives us the ability to launch air operations of this magnitude, which is a big deal. And now that it's 12.15, oh, uh, how about 12.30? Enemy spotted near Shortland Island, huh? Indeed, there is an enemy here. We're going to wrap this episode up on this tactical battle where we're taking out this poor, helpless float plane. We don't want any messages coming back that there's a giant aviation wing heading down the slot towards Guadalcanal. Had to take out that scout plane. Alright, with that being said, We're going to wrap this episode up. So what has happened here recently? We've uh, recently sunk the Chicago, a Northampton heavy cruiser, the Mustin, a Sims class destroyer, and the Stack, a Benham class destroyer. Oh, and I think the, uh, the grouper our first submarine uh, of the campaign was sunk as well in this episode. I'm going to think that these guys were from the episode before where we had, where we took out that uh, mainly light cruiser comprised group of, of six daring ships that headed charged headlong into the slot. Um, 
so yeah, we took out basically four ships in this episode, two destroyers, a submarine, and a heavy cruiser, and I thought things went okay. Uh, we're, we're sticking with the plan. We've got lots of air power currently on station. We've got a fourth carrier inbound, and we may have targets currently in the in the box to drop overwhelming uh, aerial firepower on their head. Um, or at least that's the hope in the next episode. Anyway, I am James Johnson, a.k.a. Software Blade. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And of course, as I already said, smash that like button and leave a comment. Tell me what, what you're thinking. Uh, ask me why I haven't done something. Ask me if I'm going to do something. You know, I'm willing to interact with the community. Just, you know, ask away. Anyway, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Software Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all, peace.